So it's been a while since I made a home front video for you people to watch and say how much this game sucks. Well, if you love that game that I always been mentioning yesterday, <laughs> that I d I don't despise it. Okay, I just don't. I just not into it. But this game, I'm into. Why? Because dedicated servers, baby. I could be downloading videos while playing this game and not even worry about lag. Why? Because it's dedicated servers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm playing ground control. No battle commander because I don't need to, you know, I don't need to highlight. I don't need them to highlight where the camper is and shit. I'll just go out there myself and find them. Now, I'm working on the ACR, trying to unlock all the um, attachments to it. Pretty good gun. I, I, the funny thing about this game is that I actually unlocked the gold camo. And I didn't need to be 14 prestige to do that. Unlike Call of Duty. And the best part about it, hit detection is way more awesome in this game. Trust me. If you haven't played this game yet, ladies and gentlemen, rent it. And if, if you like it, then buy it. It's cheap now. It's because, you know... They didn't expect this game to to be, you know, whatever's. But in my opinion, this is the best shooter out right now. You can have your Crisis 2 and the cloaking and all that. I'm kind of annoyed by that. But to be honest with you, this game is the shit. I, I like this shit. I like this shit. I know it's been a while. And I, I thought I would be a little bit rusty. Like right now, you see me shooting absolutely nothing. But I swear I thought I saw somebody there. That's why I started shooting. But... You know, whatever. At least in this round, I hold my own with for the team. Made sure that we try to win. I just joined this match, and look, I didn't even know there was somebody right there in front of me, laying on the ground. <laughs> Good thing I shot at him. You know, because that would have been stupid of me to not shoot the guy who was right in front of my face, like this guy right here. See, because that dude just popped out after I started shooting the other guy. Sucks, but oh well. Shit happens. Now, the, fu the funny thing that I've been finding on this game is people are throwing C4 on their parrot drones. Now, parrot drones are the one that points out to their for their teammates where the enemies are. And uh, I find it pretty funny as heck that they would fly their parrot drones so low, hoping that you would destroy it just so you can get killed by the C4. Or the perk that makes the drones explode even bigger. Now, that's cool. You know, that's a little smart technique to have. But you're old school. You're old school. <laughs> old school. You're also risking it with your drone and wasting those uh, battle points. You know what I mean? So you got to play smart when you're doing that kind of tactic. Obviously here, I fucked up. I swear I meleeed, but I meleeed too early, I guess. Too bad this game doesn't have the lunge like Modern Warfare 2. I'm always going to say it. Modern Warfare 2's knifing is a lot better than Black Ops. Hell, even better in this game. But this game, when you knife somebody, it sounds like you're stabbing like a mass amount of flesh. You know what I mean? And I like that sound. Like, you know? So anyway, I'm an idiot because there was a guy laying in the ground right there that I didn't even notice and I got myself killed. Whoopty freaking do! So I just keep going. And um, right here, I think um, oh, I managed to kill somebody because I, I think I threw a grenade. Anyway, so... Our team is winning now. We just won the first round, and now I got to go run all the way down there to try to uh, capture the points. Now, i seen a video of, if, if you don't know the dude by now, El Prezador, greatest commentator. He has his whole beast nation, you know. I think he's funny as fuck, but he made me cry, dude. <laughs> Not literally cry, but I cried on the inside. Because he took the home front game, went into the woods, and threw knives and axes at it and destroyed it. And I, I just look at that as, man, like, I know you got your preferences, but come on, dude. This is what shooters are about. Bigger maps. Yeah, you got vehicles involved, but they're limited. They can't use, like, every guy can't call out a vehicle because that would be bullshit. It's, this game is easy to get around anything. I just don't, I just don't understand how people like him, who's a beast can't even get around this it's it's one of the easiest games but you know what to each his own and i hate this part because this is where a fucking camper killed me 
who's in an area that I have never ever seen anyone been in before. Now keep in mind I haven't played this in a while, so that shit is new to me. And I was like, fuck that. Now look at this. Oh no, that's my teammate. I thought that was one of the guys trying to spawn camp. It's pretty funny how people try to spawn camp in this game. Because, you know, it's a big map and the spawning can change. It's better than uh, how Black Ops spawning is. Because I seen a video of, uh, I don't want to mention this dude's name. But he was literally spawn camping and he was playing uh, Demolition on Call of Duty Black Ops. Which is a failure because they don't change your spawn points. So he was able to knife, knife the people when they instantly spawn. And then what's so funny is... He later made a video saying that his friends got banned for spawn killing and he said, oh, how are you going to ban people for doing something that's in the game? Technically, you're cheating because you're not giving the other player a chance in which you should have got banned too. But that's just my opinion. I don't care because I'm playing home front. Home front is better. I like it. Bigger maps. As long as that control style is like Call of Duty, it's all good. I mean, if they start tweaking it a little, perfect. It'll be a really, really good game. Um... Right now, though, I'm expecting to get Fight Night Champion. Yes, I said it. I'm getting Fight Night Champion. Thanks to a good friend of mine named Dino always telling me to get it. And a few of you viewers were saying, Natural, your call should be in Fight Night. It would match his character pretty well, yada, yada, yada. So I go ahead and put it on order. I should be getting it sometime next week, if not this week. Hopefully this week, but most likely next week. Along with another copy of Bulletstorm, because the Gears of War 3 demo is coming out soon. Yee Can't wait for that, baby. Anyway, so in this match, yeah, I try to, I'm trying to capture as much of the bases as possible. Somehow, I, I don't know how the fuck that guy got on the roof. See what I'm saying? I haven't played it for so long that people are finding ways to get on places that I don't think you can even get on. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, when I seen that, I was like, how the fuck did you get up there? That is new in my book. You know what I mean? So, I just go ahead and continue playing. And I see in uh, my party chat that I'm the only one. So, I'm leaving my party chat. I'm not talking about in-game. I'm talking about on the side here because I'm on Xbox and all that. Anyway, so, let's just move on. Did you guys hear? <laughs> I'm going to bring this up during a home front video. Did you guys hear that uh, Blizzard, the guys who make World of Warcraft, is going to work on an MMORPG for Xbox 360? Since DC Universe and uh, Final Fantasy 13, I guess, the MMOs, are being such a success on the consoles, that Xbox is now looking into it, and they're thinking of bringing World of Warcraft to the Xbox 360. I don't know if you guys know that I used to play World of Warcraft. I still have my account. I just oh, which reminds me, I'm supposed to call Blizzard today. Oh, well, I'll do it tomorrow. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So apparently they might bring the World of Warcraft game to the 360. I ain't hating that. I I love to go play that game again. Honestly, I missed the game. It's just that when they came out with Cataclysm, I hated the fact that I had to get to 85. And I did one character to 85, and it was a priest, and it was a bitch. And I said, fuck it, I'm taking a break from this game. I, and I haven't played it for probably like four or five months now. And I think it's time I go back. So I'm probably going to reactivate my account later and make some videos for you guys. Also, I have just finally finished downloading DC Universe Online for the PS3. Now, I'm thinking of doing a, a journey video where I'm going to make my character. He's going to look like natural. And I'm going to level him up. But I'm going to be, you know, recording every every often, like 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. And what it is, is, is just, you're going to see the progression of the natural character. If I can even name him natural. Uh, the progression of the character till he's level 30. I know there's tons of DC Universe Online videos already. And you know what? Fine. That's, you know, go watch those if you want. But watch mine because I'm going to add commentary to it and... I mean, there's already, you know what, fuck. There's already tons of DC Universe Online videos as commentary, but whatever. So anyway, um, so I just wanted to get this home front video out the way because I only had one home front. I can't believe I gave Crisis 2 a second video before home front. I like home front. You know what I'm saying? It's a well-balanced game. I don't know why people complain. Oh, like El Presidor said, it's too slow. So what? I'd rather have it at this pace than some dude who fucking seems to be running like he's fucking the Flash. 
You know what I mean? Like how in Black Ops and shit, I'd rather have the dedicated servers and the hit detection in this game, to be honest with you. When I played, when I started playing this again uh, last night, I was like, oh, how I missed the hit detection. I was like, god damn, this game is so on par. I love it. But there's another game um, that I forgot to tell you guys. It's coming out sometime in the wintertime 2011. It is a game that I have been long waiting for. I think I said it wrong. Well, waiting for a long time. <laughs> Ten years in the making. If you guys are, if you guys know what game I'm talking about, it is Tribes Ascend. The fourth installment of the Tribes series. Now, if you guys don't know what Tribes is, look it up on YouTube, Google it, and prepare to learn what FPS gaming is all about. You can download Tribes Next, which is Tribes 2, but and it's absolutely free, but it's only for the PC. I am heavily contemplating on doing videos for that. I tried once, but then I couldn't even get into it, and my mouse was just acting up, and it would be hard to play the game with a mouse that's acting up. So, uh, maybe I'll try again later and do some seven-minute videos of uh, Tribes. Uh, tribes Was it Tribes Next? Sorry. But Tribes Ascend is coming out. The, they had a little sneak peek trailer of the, just pretty much the character models and they look nice as hell and the trailer is like you see the guy you see the, the character models and then it has a sign tribes of said and you got the character right next to the sign turns his head and goes our flag is secured and that gave me chills because that game is the FPS game that started it all for multiplayer online if you don't believe me do your fucking studies okay tribes one was the first first person shooter that had online that went mainstream and became popular that is the epitome of first person multiplayer shooting games like this is the you know what they got to thank tribes for making the multiplayer how it is today it's because games like this this has a big map tribes has an entire planet like you may be off the border but you and a guy can go one on one all the way miles and miles away from the actual uh, from the actual battlefield it's 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 pretty funny i done it before years ago our memories of that game is it's cherished man like i love that game if i could take all my memories of the gameplay and put it out here on video for you guys i would definitely do it it is a game that i cannot wait so you heard it here check it out on youtube trust me tribes ascend 2011 coming out in winter time that's a game that i'm gonna get and nothing else matters after that well as long as the game is good because tribes 3 which is tribes vengeance sucked some people liked it but for me i didn't like it tribes 2 1 and 2 are the only ones that i really really like but if you're interested check out tribes next um you can go ahead and uh, download that for absolutely free even download the multiplayer patch so everything you can do is free um also check out some highlight videos or uh, montages of tribes trust me you will not be disappointed in a game like that it is the game that halo stole from trust me and many other games but halo i feel as though you guys so stole from tribes even even my friend dino agreed that fucking halo stole from tribes man trust me you guys will like it anyway so you see me with the chopper getting shot down now because i'm trying to like make sure none of them fucking captures the uh the uh, bait, uh, the points, and I finally seen where the, the missiles are coming from, but I got shot down. Oh, yeah. choking on saliva. Oh well. So, pretty much the match is about to end. This is my uh, XM, XM10, one of the high, the last guns you unlock in uh, gold camo. Looks kind of corny, but whatever. But the match is over. So, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, expect more WWE All Stars, even though I hate the game. Crisis 2. Home front, pretty soon fight night, uh, champion, and whatever else in store that I have. And DC Universe Online on the PS3. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Mahalo.